So do you want to stay here? Do you want to hop into something else? What you think? Um, I'm good with whatever. All right, let's. Uh, you know me, I'm I'm very easy to please. <laughs> you know, whatever. Let's hop into Akron and see if we can catch the end of that. I'm down with that. All right, hop in. Let's see what the score is. One. It's a zero zero. Oh my goodness, are they an OT? Nope, they got ten minutes left. Let's see if I can catch the end of this one. I almost hopped out of spectator mode for some reason. I want to play. I want to play. Yep. Scott playing flag defense for his squad. AT. Big shout outs to, to Scott. All these overlays and stuff designed by him. Look at that spinning flag. Look at that. Wicked. It's neat. I love it. Scott working really hard for Owned Well Community. Thanks, yeah. guy. Uh, but Absolutely yeah. I appreciate it. Um, as we're kind of watching this acrony, uh, I do. We kind of started talking about it earlier, and I think something happened and we stopped. But yeah, we're trying to get some more content out during the week. Um, we're not 100% sure what we're going to do. But I think I think we're gonna start streaming on the Thursdays. Um, we're not sure what we're gonna call it, but we're gonna check out other games other than UT. Um, kind of like a owned well goes on tour to see what other competitive things are out there. Uh, we played with some Nazgoth last week. Probably do it again this week. MP5 going low. That's a cutoff by Sturm in the right spot. And if you have suggestions, certainly uh, you know you can message us. We we're on IRC or get active on the forums. You know, kind of. It'll prompt us to check out a certain game that you think might be worth uh, the community looking at. Yep. We're, we're kind of looking for games that aren't already established. Like, Counter-Strike's really popular, but... And we uh, enjoy playing it, but it's a saturated uh, market, so to speak, in that um, really nothing that we do with that hasn't been done already. Yeah, so it's not something we think we're probably going to cover, but like a new game like Nazgoth is in, I think, uh, uh, beta. Uh, but they're already hosting. Yeah, it's basically a closed beta, but you can get it for five bucks on Steam. Yep, and they're already hosting like little tournaments. Yeah, ESL's so. hosted some beta cup tournaments, so. Yep, we're looking for other stuff we could do on Owned Well. And especially games that maybe not super competitive, but have a community element to them, like co-op or, or something like that. Yep. So we'll be branching out there for there. Doing that on Thursdays, we're going to play shenanigans probably at the same time we start the normal Monday stream. Um, also, uh, we're thinking about doing something on either Tuesday or Wednesday, something like a Mr. Grin's Takeover. We just, I play like retro games or something. I don't know. We're still we're sort of feeling out what we want to do. Not 100% sure. Is that flag is going to get picked up low? Sure is. Blue is stringing that one. No, red is stringing that one back, and they fragged two blues right on top of it. They're going to take it left oh, here. Scott. How is he alive? MP5? Are you kidding me? What? He gets the pick up MP5 there. There's still one more to beat, two more to beat. Oh, uh, my God. Blue is on the ramp. Blue is not going to get the return. Kings Go up the lift. No, oh, it's going to fall. <laughs> oh, my God. Now it's saved again. And again. What is happening? This is Scott, the worst accurate cap ever. Pick him a long way home, and there you go. There's the cat 1 0 on the board for AT. I couldn't <laughs> even keep up with all that. I thought it was returned. I did too. It was almost returned like four or five times. That was the most insane thing I've ever seen. Blue guys were actually mid air touching it with their head and getting shot and exploding, and it didn't count as a return. Oh my god, that was close. Wow. I'm glad we were here for this. Godlike. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All I gotta say is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to do with my camera anymore. I was just like flying around in circles because I was what do dazed. I do with my hands. <laughs> I can't feel my face. That was nasty. <laughs> anyway, let's look at the assist. Everybody on red except for Scott has an assist because Scott has the, the cap. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and actually, I feel like he deserves an assist because he held it. Died and then picked it up and ultimately got to the cap. So he did have an assist. It's just he also got the cap on that run. I, I felt like that was a stat that you deserve both. You know? Yeah. You, <laughs> just you give him both extra a covers. temporary carrier and a capturer of the flag during that run. Yeah, and that's got to be the play of the week. Let's put that one in there. That was nuts because that was red just barely clutching it over and over again. Blue, blue. honestly, it probably looked like it should have been They were returned, clawing but... for that cap because yeah. they know it's acrony. Caps are so hard to come by, so it's, it's it basically becomes a Zerg effort at the end. It's just like, keep getting those pickups, please. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, 
So one zero Akerny looks like AT has got this one ahead. Ahead. I think if they win this, it's they're done because they're already up one. Yeah, Hodor actually losing uh, complex in a massive twenty minute overtime. MP five trying to go low left, kind of makes a weird jump, but it surprises the blue guy. His cover picks him off. That flag is dropped down low. Knockout Dad is able to return that. So pretty intense so far. Oh man, that uh, that cap was epic. There's still four minutes on the clock, though. I mean, we've we've seen crazier things happen. Um, yep. It was it was this map actually. They capped with what uh, they grabbed with 45 seconds left. Oh Ran yeah. Back. They got the cap before server time. It was Rummy's team. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It, it's happened tonight, so surely it's you know it's possible it can happen again. It's not likely on a map like this, but you never know. Yeah, people are calling. Make that a highlight. No kidding. That was awesome. Watching. I think Knockout Dad. Oh, he's been on offense. My bad. Coming up here. Fragging one. Missing the second. Missing the third. We've got someone asking in uh, Prixen's. I hear Prixen's fun to watch. What do you think? Uh, it's okay. I think uh, it really maps. They have different styles. And then the teams and the matchups you're seeing play into how those things will play out. So it's hard to always say that, you know, yeah, this map produces great matches to watch, or yeah, this match is always, or map is always boring. It's too much variability in there to say for sure one way or another. Yeah. And to be honest, I haven't seen enough of Prixion to really comment. Um, I think you're right. It's really in how the teams play it. I mean, you can if you've got flashy players and and, and explosive, uh, you know, people with that explosive tendency, like at any time they're gonna pull a monster kill, then the map can be interesting. But if you have a really turtly team versus like a super heavy frag team, then then it doesn't really matter what map it's gonna be. It could be boring. Kingston taking a right here. Gets one frag on the defender. Actually goes low by himself. Darkseid falls on that one and returns it, I think almost by accident, but he was there to stop that. Natrix, he's got cover, he's gonna drop low, he's gonna go fly back up high, picks up another cover. That red guy died, two red are there somehow, one goes down, he drops all the way low very quickly. Dead though in a return, and almost juke that was really good because he went all, navigated all the way low. But Darkseid again with the return. There following. Um, I don't know if he meant to do that, but uh, it certainly turned out to not pay off for him. Was... Ultimately, an easy cutoff. Two minutes remaining. Not much time left to work with for the blue team, but it's it's possible. Like we said, yeah, 45 seconds on the clock. They pulled it off. Yeah, Rummy's and team did. Blue's gonna run a lot more offense now. Dark side actually with two the two clutch uh, returns so far, stopping those in mid. Uh, we got Sauron with the grab here going low left. Looks going very quickly. His teammate picked off one. That flag is still down. Picked up by Natrix. Killed again. Dark side with the third return. That's heading toward mid. Going big for his team. And this is the team. AT is missing Unreal Shots. The, the highest rated player in the tournament right now. They're all star. Yeah. Oh, Scott. What, what is Scott that? doing? Did you see that too? <laughs> Did you see that too? <laughs> yeah, he just started waving his mouse in the air. Natrix taking a low left. His That guy in front of him and disappears. He's trying to go low again. Again, cut off. Scott's there this time with the waggling mouse. Able to make. Check on Scott. I think he's having a seizure. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> we might that need to get. Nutty. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> but yeah, that's a great point. The fact that AT has performed so well tonight without. You know, not only their best player, but one of the best players in the league. Uh, that says a lot. Yep. The, to the type of team that they have. 41 seconds remaining on the clock. Blue should be all offense right now. They better be. Um, I've se seen a lot of red hanging out in the base. So let me f actually fly to red's flag stand as the 30 second warning's going off. Bunch of red in the base, blue trying to come in high. I think that's going to be their best bet to make a grab. I think one went underneath. I don't think you got time to do that, bro. As I don't know, I don't see any blue right now. We got 16 seconds. I think that's it. Yep, that's AT's all going to take again. it. In we too. saw them do it with 45, but not with 10. So, <laughs> yep, very nicely done by AT, doing it without unreal shots. Dark side coming up big for their team uh, in in the sub in role essentially. Pretty big shoes to fill. But uh, got to give it up to Rysis and Kanks to go in big.
for AT. Absolutely. Good game. That was a nice cap. That needs to be highlighted somewhere. You're right. All right. I see two games going on. We got ARC versus PP, and we got the Chalk Bow game on Broken Limits. Um, someone said Prixon. We'll go watch Prixon. That's Cud and company. The Cudster. Yep. So it looks like it's a 1 0 in favor of ARC. And but PP is up one map. Actually, I think this is the tiebreaker. As someone said. Oh, okay. That's one one. Excellent. Yeah, I believe so. Someone correct me. Chat. Let me know. As people are requesting Scott's demos. Phasar <laughs> <laughs> trying to go low, getting wrecked. The other thing is also wrecked as well. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. Two fallbacks down low. There's a double wrecking. I try not to use the word wreck because that's what everybody says now. I know, it's like it's cliche at this point. Really. Yeah, just like I also try not to say situation as a caster. <laughs> and what v what situation? <laughs> you know, um, I have a problem with that and um, saying like right there or right now or, you know. Like what do you mean just like. They're in dire oh. straits right now. Oh, okay. Well, oh, that gotcha. was a great shot right there. Yeah, like it's past tense. <laughs> yeah, I yep. gotcha. Ghost actually doing kind of a cool juke. Getting caught, though. Phasar with the grab on the other side. Um, trying to go low right. He's spotted out. He's going to make have to make a lot of frags because I don't see any cover. Didn't quite do it. Cyrax Cy Cy taking a low right after fragging. Double killing the defense. He's going to have to make another frag. And this, I think, this pricks on kind of the story here. Is, uh, they got two flag carriers with no cover right now, but ARC is right now in the lead. They got 11 and a half minutes remaining. Um, looks like Xenoscythe is actually credited with that cap. And that's three blue in the base. Sniped, but they should pick that up. Maybe not. Killer Eye's there to stop them all. Snap with an ultra kill to put that one down. CY going quickly to the right. One behind him misses the shot. That could have been real dangerous. And there's a lot of grabbing going on in this Prixon. Now I need to put my camera somewhere. Put it in mid. I think. Oh, I hope I don't miss this run by Humpty. Humpty actually juking oh, back up high. Humpty. Oh, I don't know if they saw him there. Taking all the way to the opposite side of the map. Oh, oh. someone's there. Snap didn't even know. He was looking the wrong way and just happens to shoot him. The wing and a miss. <laughs> Good thought, didn't quite pan out. Ghost getting the nice frag, he's picked up cover. He's going the same thing, pulling a Humpty. This, this time, no red. Yes, coming back up, tie right. Phasar trying to keep it alive with a desperation grab. Ghost runs into two red, and that's going to be a death. Phasar kept it alive long enough. His team returns it. Wouldn't you know it's Cud. Yep. Getting the return. <laughs> yeah, well, he's one, yeah, he's one of those uh, smart players. Always in the right place at the right time. Situational awareness and great positioning are the hallmarks of Cud's play. Yeah. CY staying alive. This is why CY is such a dangerous flag runner. Look, he's fighting two people and they can't hit him. Finally, Killer Eye takes him down. That fancy footwork. Yeah, he's and that's why he's, he's, he's highly touted as one of the better flag runners in the game. Why their mouse just is under screaming. the halfway point of this map and arc up one zero and again this is the tiebreaker right yeah i believe this is the tiebreaker i don't know if this matchup going the distance uh i don't know if chat corrected me or not but i think this is the tiebreaker it seems like Prishan has a high uh grab ratio but not a lot of those flags get super far from the stand as soon as I say that. Sorry. Oh, see right. Two kills in nice. a row. He's going to make it out to me. Oh, my no, God. Cut off. Yeah. And the way the pricks on kind of works, um, if you're a flag runner, is once you grab and head a direction and you you have to kill at least one D, it's like almost impossible not to unless you're cherry picking. But uh, they're going to call you're going that way. And they spawn in enough time to get to you, no matter what. So you kind of got to make the decision: Do I have to fight this guy? And can I go fast enough? You got to you got to gauge whether your cover is there. Because if you got cover, it's fine to go one way right directly. Or do I stop, pause, and then go another way? Right. And that's like you got to make the decision as soon as you grab and head a direction. 
Because if you pause too long, they're just going to come through the mid doors and shoot you. It really is a game time decision, and you know it really can make the difference between a solid run and one that's just going to get shut down immediately. As blue team kind of nursing this 1-0 lead, I feel like with players like Cud and Humpty, I, he's just playing with fire that eventually they're going to be able to bring one home and tie this up. Yeah, Humpty actually like speaking of him, he's up two high. Cap. Two blue there. Snap with another. They can return. get that buffer. They're going to be feeling comfortable, but uh, it looks like really what they're trying to do right now is just kind of maintain this one cap lead. Yeah, looking at Snap. Snap's got 63 efficiency on defense, 67 frags. Um, let's see, Rick James is 29 or 30 Look at now. The seals. My goodness, six seals for Ghost, four for Snap. Yeah. Everyone on the team has a seal. I mean, you love seeing that as a teammate, yeah. especially a flag runner. So Snap doing really well. Ghost has been well all night. We've seen him do lots of good plays. Uh, checking out Cud actually on the top of his team because he's got 13 flag kills, which is quite a bit. Ghost with the flag here trying to go low the man mode way, the ballsy way, just take it straight low. Well, it's yeah. the quickest way to the flag. <laughs> Who else wants some? Who else wants some of Devo? <laughs> Uh, savvy defensive cut. Sometimes I like just kind of kicking back and watching a defender a little bit. I'm too like ADD to be a defender, but yeah, me too. I really like the quiet, calculated patience that a solid defender needs to have. Yeah, if you watch somebody who really knows the map too, because they they constantly check angles, check the angles, check yep. the angles, check angles. Yep, they find the the spot where they can watch two or three angles at once, just kind of rotating back and forth between each one, and then showing the twitch aim when I'm going comes into their field of view it's really uh quite fun to watch them operate yeah and that's what i can't do is the consistent like aiming thing like i'm a streaky like i'll go on to like a monster kill and then i won't hit anything for five minutes yeah that's like why I, if i play d you miss you're like the guy's not even looking at you you know yeah and if i so if i play d i'll be good for like five minutes then i'll suck for five minutes and i'll be like <laughs> carry me please my aim's gone i need the support put me in your gen sport yep Apocalypse with the flag. Kind of a dry spell there. Is seems like a lot of frags going on in mid. Teams shooting at each other. I mean, we got six minutes left on this one. Uh, I don't know if any other games are going on. This might be one of the last ones. Yeah, given that we're getting later in the evening, and this is a um, this is a tiebreaker map. I wouldn't be surprised if we're getting towards the tail end. Ooh. Of the Ghost? ICTF matchups. Ghost is with three blue. He's switched all the way from low from lower left oh, to high right. Yeah, they spotted him out now. High looks like it's clear. Flag is grabbed though. It's off the stand and no, they didn't see it. Nope. Phasar, Humpty picks it up. Uh, Humpty's gonna drop it. Apocalypse picks it up. I can't get to it. There it is. Apocalypse actually going down as Xenoscythe gets that return and that's a 2-0. That could be it. Ghost with some good flagging and good cover and then his team is there to back him up because they make that return. Good team play coming through in IRC. Ghost looking great for his team. Um, you mentioned him earlier tonight. Uh, you felt like we were speaking his name a lot because he was so integral to some of the big-time plays that we were watching and you know, showing it again with that one. Like we said, you know, this was a case where they needed to get that buffer cap because I felt like if they didn't, they let Red Team linger long enough, they'd eventually get that equalizer and maybe steal the map. But uh, yep. now they're in the driver's seat. Is Ghost looking Ooh. to sneak another one out? Taken out from behind. That's Killer Eye getting the double kill in the return. Yeah, Ghost. He's looking really dangerous on this one. He's been grabbing and doing, uh, trying to manufacture plays all night. Goes down for that one. And so I guess, like we were, you were kind of hoping that Humpty and stuff would make something happen. But and they got kinda even quiet. grabs. Yeah, they got even grabs across their their board. But nothing quite has manufactured as someone sets off a car alarm. In my place. Thank you. Alright, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the four minutes on the clock and a 2 0 lead for Arc. Trying to sew this up in three maps. I think, uh, again, this is the tiebreaker between these two teams here in week two. A, a gritty matchup, to say the least. This actually got Cud. A rare grab here. So he's been playing defense for most of this game and he's going to get into his base. They might narrow the gap. There's one behind him, but the flag is off the stand. There's one in front of him. Oh! Got from behind! Can they get the return? Oh! 
Oh. And there it is. Snap coming out of nowhere from mid to get that return just probably one dodge away from the cap. Yep. That oh, was... Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, good stalling tactics to keep them off the stand. We've seen that all night tonight. Smart play by players to just slow down the flag carry until they die. See why, actually, though, making a nice 180. Cut off again from Humpty. Humpty has been in position to cut off a lot of these, but not enough as it's 2-0. And I'm going to very quickly... Look and see if any other game is going on. Looks like one other game, B.O.W. on Broken Limits is happening. So I guess we'll finish this and then see if that one's probably in overtime. Because there is three minutes left in this. Yeah, <laughs> that breaking hearts, absolutely. Uh, that, that was the light at the potential end of the tunnel for them. If they pick up that cap, you know, there's not a lot of time left, but you know, they could get one more to force overtime. Now yeah. facing the loss with two caps down. I mean, it's a tall order with only about two minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Here's Humpty on the grab. Yep. CY's got this one. Taking it low right. See, and you know, see how he faked the other way and came back now? The comms were a little late. He's going to make that nice 180. His team is there. He'd be trusting his team. Trust in the team. And then he can just walk it in. Very nice. And there and that's you go. That's the backbreaker right there for yep. sure. And that's going to be it. That other game is going. Maybe we could just head on over there. Yeah, we'll hop over there real quick. As I believe that's the tiebreaker, so... Uh, ARC is going to take that one, I believe. I didn't see any corrections in chat, so I'm going to assume I'm right. It looks like we got BOW versus Chalk going, like you said, on Broken Limits. Joining the server. Uh, looks like overtime. Well, maybe, maybe not overtime. No, it's overtime. Definitely overtime. It's because it's it, all zeros. It looks like we just got into overtime, and it's zero zero. White chalk, the grab there going down. So yeah, the total reset <clears throat> on this one. So if white chalk's running, then who's playing? D? It looks like Annihilator and Serenity are playing together. Um, there is. Only two people with grabs on blue. Who is the other Offensia? I'm assuming it's Riven. Let me check. Riven is in mid. Are they playing a mid? Broken limits? Hmm. Or no, I'm watching Riven now. He's going back into the base this time. Perhaps he's playing defense i see another saying blue. this is map two although not sure who, who won map one if someone in chat could let us know i believe bow did bow okay i'll go with your word mr grins i'm just I pulling stuff you. out of my pants but... i don't know why but i do <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why but i believe him believe him yep i think riven is playing i think they're playing 3d because oh, riven is definitely not offense let's let's check the other ones vega Dying. Let's look at White Shock. Nope, couldn't get out. Flow X with a grab on the opposite side. Takes down one. Flies up high. Chukes back into mid. He's going to get spotted. Makes the shot, but Annihilator's there down low to take him down. So, it looks like. Dude, I think Blue might be playing 3D. Because Chromaniac's low. Where is. What tends to what Vega's doing? Vega's low left. Back up the portal. Yeah, they're playing 3D. Oh my goodness, crap. Oh my goodness gracious. Why you do this to me? So, Chalk's got a tall order to fill now, playing three against three defenders on a frag heavy team. White Chalk is going to grab, though. Maybe BOW's not comfortable on broken limits, so they're throwing down the 3D. Maybe they're scared of the White Chalk knob, Kaiuken combo. Um, maybe they have ultra faith in Flow X and Joshed to make this ca to make this happen, and want to secure the win, not go into overtime or go into the third map. But they're definitely <laughs> in overtime on this one. Uh, yeah, Duel or Die will happen right after this. Uh, me and Mess will switch out. Uh, he'll take the pilot seat. I'll hop into the co-pilot seat after we take a teeny tiny break to use the restroom. But I believe this is going to be the last map we're going to cover. Um, I think if this goes into too much overtime, we're going to need to start Duel or Die. Uh, so, B 
because we do have a 3D, and I'm going to say it, situation going on here. White Chalk, highest grabs in the server with 14. I'm sorry, Jost has 15. Riven saying, lol, noob. So this one could go on for quite a bit. That's right, Rummy is playing Nob. Well, they're not going to be able to, to play because <laughs> Nob's in a game right now. But yeah, Duel or Die is coming up after this. Um, and again, we may cut this short. Because I believe this is the last game going on. No, PP and ARC are still playing. I tell a lie. They're playing Command. So that wasn't the tiebreaker. They're now tied on PPARC. I actually might switch over to that one. I think we should. Because this Broken Limits look like it might go on for a while. Let's do that. I'm going to hop into Command. Oh, they're kind of hanging out. Kerr? Question mark? Excellent. Yeah, this is the tiebreaker. <laughs> five D command. I don't think that would work. I think he would lose. Five D command. So, um, so we'll see this. And then we'll go back and see if that one's still 3D. If it is, we'll probably cut this short, go, go to go Duel or Die. Because uh, we've been covering regs for about two and a half hours. Which is, actually, it's actually pretty good time. I mean, that's not too bad to watch uh, the, the games, I think. I think normally uh, the first round of matches that I did, devs and regs, was almost six hours coverage time. So two and a half and then we'll probably round out the six hours ending up with Duel or Die, uh, depending how quickly we can go through the matches and if there's uh, tiebreakers or not. So that'll come up a little bit later, as I guess we're waiting on somebody. Four and four, guys. Let's go. All right. They didn't buy it. Flowex taking a left. He's actually boosted by his teammate. That's a nice boost. He's going to make the shot. He's going out mid. Shoots his own teammate because his aim is so good. It's still alive. And now there's there to, to bring it back. Dang it. I thought I was going to catch the only cap in the game. Gosh darn it. All right. So we'll watch this till the other game goes live. Hello. Hey. Howdy. Howdy. You found us. Y'all were real difficult to track down, but I did it. Yep. Me and uh, Mess actually uh, moved to Utah to cast this game. Oh, did and, you? Yeah, we were hiding with the Breaking Bad people. Aren't, aren't they from Utah? Oh, I admit, I've never watched that show. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we're on the lam. Yeah. Floex with the nice dubs. He's going to pick up cover in the form of Joost. Trying to go mid. It's actually dropped, but the other side, flag. two flags are out. One is down. Vega returns that one. The other one's also returned. So, yeah, uh, Paco. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the last command game, and if this one's still going on, uh, we may cut it short to go to Duel or Die. Oh, I would do that because Disc has some limitations on when he can play. He's the first matchup. Disc versus Ricky JJ. So. All right. So um, Rick Rick James um, is actually in that command game. Oh God. Yeah, so, but he's, he's not in the 3D game. He's in the command game. Nob is in this 3D game, though. So, he's going to be playing oh, Rummy, yeah. I believe. Yeah, Paco, are those the match? We got Is versus Rick James, Nob versus Rummy. Uh, any other matchups tonight for Duel or Die that we're expecting? Um, I think Cud versus Humpty might be happening, depending Ooh. on how long. Uh, Wait, they're on the takes. same team in ICTF, aren't they? I know, I know. That's oh, great. brother That's against brother. Oh, match. yeah. And I know Tuesday night we have Jib Blackout, Paco Rootsoff, 
Um, however, we, we're, we're gonna try to get a few more today. Uh, I know Devros is gonna be playing on Tuesday as well. So cool. there might be some swapping of the brackets to get a, a few more games played, but we're, we're gonna aim for three to four games tonight. Cool, awesome. So yeah. certainly stay tuned for that, folks. We'll, we'll have a little bit of a swap out uh, to do that, but definitely looking forward to those. All right, they're telling me to up your voice, Paco. I'm, oh, I'm hesitant. That's a, that's a mistake, as White Chalk is spamming stars and stripes. <laughs> Uncle, Sam, Uncle Sam is shaking his head after that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, we Paco, you, your team had to a rough go of it us. tonight. Um, we, we, or, I don't even think, we didn't actually go broadcast any of it. I joined, and I think you guys were down like 4 or 5 0 at some point. Uh, yeah. Care to explain? <laughs> well, for, first map was rough. Second map, we were outfragged horribly. Uh, oh my god, Nob's in mid. Nob's he cut one home. nice oh, shot. Are they going to bring home the bacon? It's still there. Nope, no, Chromaniac's Chromaniac. got it. Chromaniac. No, they're yes. vegetarians. No bacon. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so pretty much map one, we we were kind of blown out. Map two, despite being outfragged by 200, like we actually had the game tied with just a couple minutes left. But we have six starters, but only four could, four could show. Um, Rootsoft made the dev, and he wasn't able to make the reg. I mean, both him and Spriggan had personal stuff that they had to attend to. And, you know, I mean, it would have been great to have him, but uh, some some things are more important than Unreal Tournament. Absolutely. I don't believe you. We know that. But, yeah. so There are many, but there are. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, for, for both of them... I told them, you know, take take the days to yourselves because they, they just had stuff going on. So Kai, you can actually with a grab. I don't know if we lost Mr. Grins, but no, I'm here. I'm just I was just checking to see that command was starting. What's interesting? We actually saw um, Scott's team, two uh, T, perform quite well without a their a best player. Oh, A T, yeah, that's a -T, it. Sorry. Yeah, they got had, two D, uh, A T, P P. No unreal shots <laughs> and still coming out big. What, what was the story? That went on Acrony. What was the story with Unreal Shots? Like, where was he at? Uh, well, we're talking to Scott. He didn't know. He was like, I guess I gotta play my dev game because uh, nobody knows where Unreal Shots is. Yeah. So Scott, Scott was like the the fifth person on the list of who could have played that. So, uh, good on him. Yeah. Well, I think they just assumed Shots was gonna show, and then he was, was like, like Noodle Wazzle not attending. Yeah. Hmm? I know Shots has bad internet. Maybe internet problems. Well, he's connected on IRC, so... Oh? Not that. What, a hail? Are we switching to the uh, the PPR game? Or what's the Well, word? I was waiting for that one to start. If it starts, I'm going to go. But White Chalk right White now is running out into mid. And is not started. He's going to drop down low. He's not even going to look backwards. He's just going to run. Corner. Look at this. Oh, my God. I think the 3D is going to fall. Oh, That's the cap. Oh, my God. 3D. 3D doesn't work out. Eh, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is and that obviously the trash talk comes out? Of course. Really understandable in a game like that. that and was... so that's a tiebreaker, right? Yeah, they have to go to tiebreaker now. Yeah. Yep. Chalk picking up the second map after Bow picks up map one. The tiebreaker will be Klondike. Oh wow! A um, lot of dog fights tonight. I love it. Minus my game. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I say we check out Command, and after Command, we can move on to the Weapons yep. Tournament. Let's do that, because then Rick James, so who's in that Command, is going to start Weapons. I think we That's... need to take a little bit of a break. We'll get the... It sucks for Disco, because I know he's in England, but uh, we think... Take, like, what, like, two minutes, three minutes, as we yeah, hand yeah, off yeah, to Mess? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. And get Ain't the no server thing. set. Get everything all sorted. As so are we heading towards started. the Command now? Is that where yeah, I'm in Command. Yeah. Zero, zero... 30 seconds into it. Yep. So if yeah, if you're also in Europe and these are too late for you, we will put these on YouTube so we can watch those later. CY already on his way out with a double kill. Needs to make this one frag. He's going to hit it. Just confidently shooting it down, but I think Red's going to snipe him. No, Rick James is going to make a clutch shot, return it, uh, or pick it up. Continue down. Clutch corner is clear, and that is a quick 1 0 for ARC. Ouch. That's got to be a bit disheartening if you're giving up a cap that quickly. And, I mean, the extra burn is Rick James had captured that one. <laughs> Ooh. You know, you know. He's getting Humpty. himself hyped for his 1v1, man. That's what I'm saying. You know Humpty right now is just grumbling something in British. <laughs> I think but, British uh, is also English. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, 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 poppycock. Bunch of poppycocks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, watch your mouth, Paco. <laughs> this is a family show. Yeah. Apocalypse with a grab here for the PPs. He's going to take a low right. He's going to pick up cover, but there's a whole bunch of blue there. Water falling out of that tunnel to stop that one dead in its tracks. So we got a 1-0 already on command. Let's see if they can hang on for 18 minutes on, on this map. I don't see it happening like that, but it's always a possibility. I'm going to assume that uh, ARC just wants to stay with the status quo and continue doing what they're doing, not play an extra D or something because of this map. Who you got in this game, boys? There's three of us here. Um, I mean, already we got Ark up 1-0, but it's command, and there's a lot of time left, and we know there's our always potential swings of momentum on this map. Who do I got? Um, I think CY. This is a more comfortable map for CY. I mean, he's good on any map, but I think he's going to keep the caps going. And I think if Humpty doesn't do something magical, it's going to go that way. Um, I can agree with you there, but uh, I don't know. I feel like I always, like like you said, Humpty is capable of doing something magical. So is Cud. Yeah. If these guys can just sync something up oh, here. We just caught Rick James jumping into the slime. <laughs> oh, love seeing those little mini bloopers. You just happen to catch them. It's just happenstance. Yep. A little bit of luck. Humpty. Getting, I think th uh, if I was blue team, I would start focusing Humpty. Kyle wins is not in this game, which is, I guess Kyle had to go to bed. Possibility? I don't know. He is a, an early sleeper, that's for sure. Yep. Kyle needs to move to England because that would sync up with his bedtime. <laughs> yeah, I'm always startled if it's like, you know, 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. I see Kyle playing Counter-Strike. I'm like, what, 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 what? Yeah, what's he doing up? I bet his wife is probably yelling occasion. at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Hey, <laughs> Sam Kyle's actually playing CSGO right now. <laughs> is he really? What a turd. Anyway, uh, Ghost yeah. taking a left here. Uh, actually kind of oh, clear after fracking that yes, defender. Yes, he's made it through. One in front of him, though. Oh, that's... Snap that trying... Are? Yeah, Snap trying to keep him alive, but... I think, I think it was Phasar came back, shut it down. 16 minutes, that's a, it's an ice age in command time. It really is. Anything can really happen here. Um, Humpty making a grab now. This is what we're looking for. Oh. With the one frag coming down, he picked up a little bit of cover in the form of Apocalypse. Apocalypse makes the clutch kill and the grab again. Coming up the clutch corner, but one of his defenders dies. He goes down, so does Cud. That's going to be a triple kill, but it's stopped twice by, I believe, CY. Or no, KE comes in and caps that. There's the equalizer. Uh, a solid run by Humpty and Apocalypse. Humpty doing the uh, the initial pickup and getting it out of the flag room before Apocalypse makes the pickup. Uh, uh, a nice pickup as well by, uh, I think it was Cud, right yep. at the end of it. Yeah, that was very nice play. And that's that's what that's all that Humpty needs is that one extra frag that he can't handle himself, and then Humpty can make it happen. He's such a he's a solid player, and Apocalypse is that fragger. I think that's why Kyle picked him up because he knew he needed a, a fragger to go along with the team he was putting together. Um, I do think they need Kyle in here to play D, but maybe he just thought, well, I'd suck at this map. So, <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty I'm sure Phasar is comfortable with this map either that or Kyle or maybe Cud's in for Kyle actually yeah I think Cud the savvy wily defender obviously can do just fine because it looks like they've got Phasar dedicated offense right now yeah yeah maybe Kyle wasn't comfortable on this one anyway we're watching three blue in this base and Ooh, they just CY. destroyed that side but then red's gonna spawn on that Humpty is there for the return to pick nice up off. yeah to pick up that flag after someone else killed him. I think it was I want to say it was Cud, but I'm not sure. Actually, it might have been Killer Eye. I don't know. Anyway, so it's up to Blue Team, I think, to bring this one back. I think if it's if it if Blue stays quiet, how long until oh, Humpty and Apocalypse sync up again? That's true. It seems like Sai is kind of the one who's really having to do the the bulk of the fragging, at least coming in and out of the base. Yeah. 
Uh, CY needs to be their uh, play starter. And then he just needs Ghost and Snap to finish it off. And Ghost just went up to 1,000 ping. And now he, oh, he's back. Okay. He might have tabbed out or something. But, uh, yeah, I think they want CY to start it. And then they're going to trust that Snap, or not, or Ghost and, uh, I guess it's Xenoscythe running now. He's going to carry that to go. Anyway, here's Humpty trying to cover his flag carrier. Phazar's going to go down. Humpty can't pick it up. Humpty's is going to, okay, not going to frag them all. <laughs> CY, though, is already halfway through the map on the left side. Picks up cover, and this is what happens when you got a dangerous flag runner who's so fast. He runs too quickly into his base. There's a whole bunch of enemies there. Humpty's going to kill one and then make the return. Humpty Beautiful. on the flag stand stops it. Got a little bit of help from his teammate, but the bulk of that done by Humpty picking up the frag and getting the return with the enemy flag. Just a man moaning it, really. <laughs> yeah. So, and... I mean, that's what Blue wants. They want CY to do stuff like that. It was just... They were there for him, but the flag, the stand just wasn't clear. And that happens, especially on command. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Good input. Yeah. I concur. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say, Paco, you did, you did pretty good taking the reins today. Oh, thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. It was it was uh, a bit nerve wracking, and I mean, you guys have some pretty damn big shoes to to fill. What? I mean, it, I'm it's just not saying. like we wear clown shoes. <laughs> no, I mean, well, that, that's what I actually meant. Like, you're okay. really big. <laughs> but uh, aside from that, no, it was fun. I think you and uh, Mike made a nice, uh, nice duo. A nice Doing pair. the play by play with uh, him kind of adding the color. Yep. Yeah. CY taking it Although right here. He's picked up cover. Begin with. <laughs> Opposite grab by Humpty. CY needs to make this frag. No, Apopka's going to make the kill. And that means Humpty's got free reign to come back to his base as most of Blue are dead. Cutoff corner is sort of clean. Not really. They're going to make Ooh. the shot. Xenocide with the grab. The Two double kill on red side. That, bl that flag. Pick it up. What are you doing? Cud. It's going to make it. Cud with the clutch with double the clutch. kill. That yeah. was huge. That. He just bulldozed through two of them, then went back, picked up the flag, and capped it. Said, "Sorry, boys, I got this. It's no that problem." Was really nice. Put put his team on his back. Yep. So red up two to one. Eleven minutes it was remaining. Just empty. And this one, ghost, quickly though to the left, makes one shot, misses the second Xenoscythe. Pick up doesn't get too far. Still plenty of time. I mean, we we saw. Blue come back from that initial 1-0 deficit, and there's half a map left. It's command. Anything can happen. That was a really nice manufactured run by PP there. Yeah, definitely. PP. <laughs> it's a, it really. Is I wonder if that was. A, I say. wonder if that was intentional when they were coming up with it. Come on, he, PP. Of course it is. Well, I think he did power play and then said, "Hey, it forms PP." Yes. <laughs> oh, CY okay. killing the defense is gonna grab once, didn't get away from Cud. If if I was Ricky JJ right now, I'd be a bit worried with CY's performance. Uh, I mean, he's starting it up, but it's he. I think he needs. I don't know. Him and Ghost he, need to sneak sync up. Yeah, you just don't want to see one of your horses under 40F in a match like this. He's. I mean, that was a nice sequence. There was just three of them. That's why he needs that extra person there. He needs Ghost to be in there with him. You know, like Apocalypse was for Humpty. Apocalypse, speaking of going left, he's going to need to make this frag to get away. Hits it. Ooh. There's another one behind him. He's going to hit that one too. Uh, the Killer Eye returns his flag. Cutoff corner is clean. Cleared up by his teammates. Someone's that there on the other side. Apocalypse Got him. There. Just couldn't get hit and lining up his shots off of the misses from the blue team. And he's keeping it going there. A little yeah. peekaboo shot up over top of the wall. Yeah. Dude, uh, Apocalypse bringing the pain right now. Leading the server with six 67 frags and showing why Cal wins took him first. Yeah, exactly. I mean, a lot of was... people were questioning why he got picked up. And he's showing us why. Yeah, that was very tactical from Kyle. Also, has Kyle played in any of the matches today? Or what's going on? Uh, I think he did play earlier. I'm pretty sure I saw him in the server. Yeah, all right. We're talking about Ghost earlier. Ghost has got it now. Hits a spree on the way out. Nice, nice snapshot. Multi. Whoa, that bullet went right by his head. He's going to pick up some cover here. Cutoff corner is clean. It was faint teammate takes a bullet for him, and that's uh, Blue getting back on the board for 2-3. And this is a there close command. Yeah, with under nine minutes on the clock, still plenty of time, and they're keeping it within one. What? 
Who was that? Oh, well, Ghost. If they do the that, they're within striking distance on command easily. Yep. Ghost's ping is now back up to a thousand. He's having horrible spikes. I've seen it twice now. But looking at the grabs, Humpty's at eight. You got Cyrax at eight. So not a huge high grabbing command, but the guys are making it count when they get there. Very opportunistic flag grabbing going on. As Humpty has two assists off eight grabs. Apocalypse already with the cycle. Yeah, we're it's watching huge. Ghost making a nice double kill on the on the defense, but they're spawning in front of him. That flag is still there. No, okay, Cud's got it. I want to check the efficiencies of the D. Snap is at 61 efficiency right now. Cud and KE are about even 53, 57 with 51, 60 frags. Um, the other side, Rick James is at about 52. So Snap is the one that's up ahead for all the defenders right now. Snap has been solid all season. Yeah, he was a really good pick for Rick James. He was somebody who was on my draft board if he was going to fall, but I mean, he's been playing too well to fall that far to me. Yeah. Kind of a new name to at least me, but I mean, he, it shows why he's rated that high and he's he's delivered for his price. Oh, yeah. It's not Delicio, it's delivery and Snap is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it DiGiorno? I'm Canada, it's Delicio. I, is it really? I guess it's like the same motto, yeah. All right, watching Apocalypse, Apocalypse here actually cover his flag carrier. All three red are hanging out in this little spot. I'm not sure what's going on. The other flag is a return. Ooh. It's in the hands of Phazar. Phazar not able to keep it alive after Snap double killed uh, to return that. Yeah, the cutoff corner was dirty. Dirty. Great cutoff by Snap there. Yeah, we were just talking about him. Reversing the caster's curse, maintaining that high efficiency, but still trailing a little bit of support from his team. And uh, a player who I feel has been kind of silent, at least we haven't talked to him too much, is uh, Xenosize so far. Ooh, Phazar actually taking a bullet from Humpty, yeah. Sniped once, picked up by KE, sniped again, picked up by Cud. That should be good. Or hey, Cud batting in the cleanup position. He's always... Doing the dirty work right at the end of a cap. Nicely done. Yep. Xenoscythe actually, I think, is more of a defensive player. So, <clears throat> I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Paco. Um, he, yeah, he, he's a bit defensive. I, I think he excels in a, in a mid-type role. So, okay. I, I heard from week one, I know White Chalk wasn't too happy and said that, like, Xenoscythe was a scumbag of the century. So, he, he does some things right. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> Looks so like he's having a tough time getting himself going this week. So he's his role is more of the fragging mid helper type fallback yeah. guy. He's more supporto rather than sneaky dekio, I would say. He's utility. Yeah, he's a utility man. Utility player. Every team needs a utility man. I think oh, Faz Fazar is the utility man for red. I agree. I, I actually think that cut is like the perfect utility man in the sense that he can do anything that's asked of him. Play offense, okay. Play defense, okay. Play middle. Yep. Play third D, you know? Yeah, he's like a knob. He's going to excel at whatever you put him on. Plug him in and he's going to fill any hole as Apocalypse with another grab. Uh, nope, I don't have a hole joke. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do. You're like, maybe I shouldn't swing on this one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, just, uh, just let that one yeah. go. Yeah, I let Sometimes it fly you by. You take a pitch. You have to. Yep. Humpty taking a left here. He's going to pick up some cover in the form of Phazar and Apocalypse. Phazar goes down. Humpty goes down. Apocalypse picks it up. Dead. And that was a good stoppage by the blue team. He's speaking of Xenoscythe, he's going to grab it here, but there's three red in that base. You have a stoppage joke? <laughs> <laughs> EY trying to heat up. He goes on the killing spree, but does that just to pick up the flag and then dies immediately. Yeah, we got four and a half minutes remaining in this one. Then, guys, we're going to take a short break and go over to Duel or Die. That's the plan, man. Duel or Ooh. die. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people have been uh, commenting in the chat. They've been excited uh, for quite some time. Looking forward to this. And I mean, we, we've had some great UT already today, and it's it's hard to believe we're not done yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh I yeah. Mean, S Sundays are crazy, and they're going to be pretty crazy for the next month. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're just heating up. Oh yeah. And I mean, I'm I'm having a great time taking this all in. Um, in between matches, I was watching y'all as Apocalypse is going out sideways. Yeah, he actually manufactured this with a double kill. Picks up cover in the form of Cud, pushing up all the way. Oh, oh no, he got ahead of his cover. Ghost. Oh. Ghost. 
That's a big time return there. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think the the worst part for him is is he's thinking, oh shit, I died, and then he spawns on it, and he's not able to pick it up. Yep. As Cy trying to answer, makes oh. it about halfway. He's got Let's cover. See if the cutoff corners queen. They got to get back to it. They kind of come out to get him. He goes down. His his One cover defeat. takes it. Ghost dies. Picked up by Other Cy side. again. Yeah, other side's clear. That that one there, uh, really nice cap from CY, four to three. That one there, you kind of cringe when you see the defense pushing up there because you're like, no, man, just keep your crosshair on that corner. Yeah, well, uh, exactly. It's also kind of it, situational. Like, if you got cover, you don't. You need to stay in that cutoff spot. If he doesn't have cover, maybe you push up to get it even just I, there to try to see what happens. But may, Maybe. I, I feel like my rule of thumb is if I'm coming in, let, let me handle the people behind me. Just make sure I'm not getting cut off there. Yeah, Ghost is got both halfway. There. The other side is returned by CY. Ghost is going to get into his base. This is going to possibly tie it up. It's shot once, shot twice. They kill that red guy. It's going to go to the stand, and that's going to be Snap wow. tying it up. And again, that return that CY got before the uh, the third cap that they got is even more huge now. Because now it's a tie game instead of them still trailing by one. What, what a game. And yeah. the tiebreaker, no less. Oh, yeah. A lot of back and forth up and down action on command and that's one of the reasons why command is a, a great map in my opinion is apocalypse, oh, apocalypse. Happen. trying to go big for his team his cover takes down one. Oh my gosh his cover dies he's gonna try and get it through this corner as possible snipe it's coming through nope they miss him they hit the guy behind him cut off corner oh. gets dirty it's down there's a lot of blue in the base and that's a return and xenoscythe that makes me eat my words coming up with a big time return that in the enemy base huge he was hiding behind the pillar behind the flag just waiting for them to call out you know the flag is going in and then the last second return there that was that was a big time play the cojones on that guy <laughs> yeah it takes a lot of patience to wait for that the opportune moment to just step out and get that return yep there's a minute 30 left in this game it's a possible overtime coming for this one also apocalypse look at the moves, look at the moves! oh Almost Down got away with it, too. This guy. Doing Make, it with flair. I love seeing it. Yeah, the hopscotch. We see some players do that very quickly to try to get over to the side, but he did it while facing the, the defenders. Takes yeah, a little he, bit of practice. He could have taken a shot there. I mean, that's... And you don't expect a player to move that fluidly. Uh-oh. It catches you off guard as a defender. Yeah, CY just making a frag here. He's going to ditch to middle, which might have been the right choice. Something we don't normally see. He's already going into his base. Cut off corner of his course clean. He's getting shot at. Boosted. Oh, CY. Wow. Split second decision. Going mid when least expected. Yep. He got it, too. Um... There was a guy behind him, made the shot. Nobody else was spawning there, luckily. Both flags yeah. are out, and this time, Xenoscythe already in his base. The other one in Apocalypse is coming through mid. Apocalypse has got one cover. He's going to get to the cutoff corner. Oh, my God. My thing twitched. Anyway, uh, looks like CY is going to make that one return. Xenoscythe takes down another one. That's a 6-4 in a change of events as Blue comes back to win this. I mean, I think there's 30 seconds left. Yeah, 22 seconds. From That's down it. Down by two. To up by two. They went on a four cap run unanswered by PP is Ark's gonna steal this one right out from under their nose, and that's gonna be a painful loss for PP, I'm sure. Yeah. That has got to hurt. A lot. That right, guys. hurts me just watching that. Oh my <laughs> god. It hurts so bad. Okay, guys. The feels. Okay, guys, um, so that is it for regs uh week two. I think my chat is dead again. Gosh dang Our it, Twitch. Alive. And I, come. See I see you. I see you. Oh, I see I... you.